As long as you buy a harness from a reputable brand, it's going to do the job of keeping you safe and carrying your gear. But there are differences between harnesses. For example, you might want a very lightweight stripped down harness for alpine climbing or skiing, or maybe a big comfy one with massive gear loops if you're hanging around on a big wall. Some harnesses, they do it all. Others are more specialised, and that's what we're going to be chatting about today. A specialised harness for sport climbers. As promised, this is the long-term review of the Wild Country Mosquito. When I first started climbing, I bought an all-round harness, a workhorse. I think it was a Black Diamond Momentum, and was fine. It did the job perfectly. I did all types of climbing, but I started to want something a little bit lighter for hard sport climbing. I also wanted something that would pack down small into a backpack. So for a while, I was using the Bial Ghost before moving on to the Mosquito. So for those of you who didn't watch the initial video, here's a recap of the features. The Mosquito has been specifically designed for high performance sport climbing and it's been stripped down to reduce weight and the profile of the harness. The Mosquito is only 220 grams and that's slightly lighter than the Petzl Sitter, which is considered to be an industry leader in the field. It has a laminated waist belt, which has internal load bearing webbing. This spreads your weight throughout the harness, eliminating pressure points and therefore making it more comfortable. Continuing on that comfort side, there's a mesh padding with a seamless edge design, so nothing to catch and rub on your skin. That mesh padding is fast drying, so if you're sweaty, it will quickly become dry. The harness has adjustability on the waist, but not the leg loops. This helps to save weight and bulk. It does mean that you've got to get the fit right, as you can't readjust it for different thicknesses of trousers or to remove them easily to go to the toilet. Not an issue for many sport climbing red pointers, but worth bearing in mind. There's a great feature on the belay loop, a wear indicator. The red indicator becomes visible if there's excess damage or wear and tear. You can easily see if your harness is still safe. It does have four gear loops and a small one for the chalk bag. The front two are bigger and more rigid, while the back ones are softer and a little smaller. So those are the features. What do I think about this harness? Let's start with the packability aspect. And look, as you can see, it folds down pretty small. This is a medium and I actually wear a small, so it's even smaller in my backpack. And that does make a difference, especially if you're traveling lots on aeroplanes, having something with a low profile is pretty useful. Now the minimal side of it as well, I've loved that. And look, I am the first to say that wearing a fast and light harness like this is not gonna make you climb 9A overnight. Of course not, that's your ability. However, what it does do is just eliminate another factor. If you're climbing a route and you've got a slightly bulky harness that feels uncomfortable, it's gonna put you off from focusing 100% on the climbing that you're trying to do. I mean, look, if you can eliminate that, why not do it? especially if you are red pointing a lot. Now the gear loops are always something interesting with a harness like this. If you are trad climbing or with your mountaineering with tons of equipment, having that floppy back gear loop is not gonna be great. You want something big and rigid on the back, but obviously this is not what it's designed for. At most, it's gonna have 10 or 12 quick draws that you can put on a route if you're on sighting. But for a lot of people with this thing, you're not gonna be wearing anything on those gear loops. The quick draws will already be in the wall for your red point. And yes, I know there's a whole pink point red point debate and I'm not gonna get into it now, but the basics are true. Most people who use this, they're just gonna be red pointing. Over the year that I've been wearing it, it's performed very well and I have used it for lots of different things, including alpine climbing when it's like a ridge route or something like that. Because if I'm grabbing a harness, I like something minimal on me, so it is at the moment my first choice. There's been no real wear and tear and compared to the BL Ghost, which did show some wear and tear, especially with the elastic bit at the back, this seems to be a bit better than that in terms of overall quality. 
This harness feels great when it's just you, the harness and the wall with no other extraneous circumstances. If I'm climbing topless, for example, that comfort thing, that, that does make a big difference. Nothing catches, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. And the design for the waist belt, which helps spread your weight, that does work. When I've taken big falls, it feels fine. And honestly, it's, it's not too bad for hanging around on as well if I'm dogging a route or something. It doesn't cut into me in weird places, so I've liked that. The lack of adjustability on the leg loops, for me, isn't a problem. Like, they fit me, there's not a huge difference if I put trousers on. If I was going like winter climbing and I had Gore-Tex trousers and long johns and all that stuff on, then it might start to get in the way. But if you're looking towards that kind of a harness, then go for something bigger with that leg adjustability. My main concern with the Mosquito is the competition that it's got, because it seems like almost every brand has a red point harness in their stable of harnesses. So how does it stack up? Well, let's consider something like the Petzl Sitter, which is undoubtedly the OG of the fast and light world. Well, that costs 144 euros on the Epic TV shop. The Mosquito costs 81. The BL Ghost is about the same price as the Mosquito, but the Black Diamond Airnet, that's 133 euros. I was, of course, lucky enough to be given one of these harnesses, but if I was sitting there paying the cash, I think I'd head more towards the Mosquito and the BL Ghost side of the price range rather than the Petzl Sitter and Airnet. The Wild Country Mosquito doesn't have a women or a man's, it's unisex, and Terry's been wearing hers for the same amount of time, and I know she likes her, so no complaints in terms of comfort. The styling is also kind of cool, that black and white just goes with anything, and you'll notice I'm now surrounded by gear, and that's because Wild Country have a whole mosquito range. There's rope bags and quick drawers and chalk bags, so if you like that fast and light style and you enjoy the colour scheme, then, well, you know where to look. So having used the harness for a year, it's still the first one that I'm grabbing out of my cupboard and putting into my bag. And yes, I know that's not a particularly scientific reason, but for me, it's a good indicator of the quality of that thing. So if you want to pick it up, you can check out the links on the Epic TV shop to the harness and the rest of the Mosquito gear. And let me know if you've been using the Mosquito. Do you agree with my opinion? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.